Good morning, Dominic. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, May 4th. We're in a new month now. So we're on Monday, May 4th, 2020. All right, our new story that we're going to read is I need an eraser. So go ahead and find I need an eraser. I want you to follow along with me as I read it, since this is the first time we're reading this story. There will be words in here that you already know though, okay? So I want you to read them if you know them. I made a mistake. I need an eraser. <clears throat> I need an eraser. This eraser is no good. I made a mistake. I need an eraser. Look in your pencil box. You might find one there. Some of these words we've had already and we've had them as sight words, so you should know some of these words. I still need an eraser. This eraser is no good. Look in my pencil drawer. You might find one there. I found an eraser. I fixed my mistake. I made a mistake. I need some tape. Oops. Put a little hole in his paper, didn't he? The end. All right, I want you to practice this book two or three more times today. We're going to do a little something different at the end of the week. I'm going to have you send me a recording of you reading this book. So I want you to make sure you're reading. Okay. So Thursday, I'm going to send you an assignment of you, of you sending me in a, a recording of you reading your book. Okay. And seesaw. So make sure you're reading your book. All right. I need you to get your packet out. Okay. We're going to do the first, uh, the first page here. Okay, this is problems and solving the problems. So when we have a problem, we have to come up with a solution in order to solve it. All right, so if we look here, it says, have students draw a picture that describes the solution in I need an eraser in the box labeled solution. Then have them draw a picture to describe a possible solution in the second problem. All right, so his first problem was what? He needed an eraser, right? So think about it. How did he solve his problem? What did he do to solve his problem of needing an eraser? He made a mistake and he needs an eraser. Look, he's looking at his pencil and it doesn't have an eraser on it and he doesn't have an eraser. How is he going to solve his problem? Does he just go, oop, I'm done, I give up? No, he doesn't, right? What does he do? Yeah, he asks for an eraser, right? And where does he find one? In the drawer, excellent. So I want you to draw a picture of him finding the, an eraser to use in the drawer. Okay, pause the video and finish your picture. All right, so now the second problem at the end of the story was, uh-oh, he made a mistake. Now he needs some tape, right? He made a hole in his paper. So how is he gonna solve that problem? Maybe go ask mom for some tape, right? So draw a picture of him asking his mom for some tape. And you can pause the video to finish your picture. All right, now you're, we're gonna go over your new sight words. So you're gonna need your index cards. Okay, remember we write these down on our in, in our index cards and then we put them on our pile of our, all of the sight words. You should have a big stack of sight words by now. All right, so here are our new sight words for this week. Your, Y-O-U-R, you, you, you don't have to learn to spell these words. These are just sight words. You're going to see, see a lot of these in your story. Need, N-E-E-D. Made, M-A-D-E. Good, G-O-O-D. 
look, L-O-O-K. I, that's when you're talking about yourself, I need a capital I. And then mistake, M-I-S-T-A-K-E. All right, so all these um, should be on an index card. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video and copy them down. If you need help, ask mom or dad. I'm sure Bella would be happy to help you too. Okay, so write them down on index cards, each one on their separate index card. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, all right, and we're gonna go over your new spelling words, okay? These you're gonna have to type three times each in your seesaw, okay? Just like you've done in the past. So these are your new spelling words, okay? And we'll have our spelling test on Thursday. So number one, my, M-Y. Number two, made, M-A-D-E, made. Number three, no, N-O, no. Number four, box, B-O-X, box. Number five, I, capital I. Number six, there, T-H-E-R-E. -E. That's going to be a tough one. You're going to have to practice that one. Still, S-T-I-L-L, still. See that ill word in the middle there, or at the end? Ill, still. Number eight, fix, F-I-X, fix. That's that short I we've been talking about. Number nine, tape. T-A-P-E, make sure you get that E on the end. Just like in made, we need an E. Tape, we need an E. Number 10, need, N-E-E-D, two E's. You hear all of them, right? Hear all those letters, need, okay? E-E-N-E-E-D. All right, I want you to pause the video and I want you to copy all these down so that you have them and then there'll be assignment in Seesaw for you to write them three times each. Okay. All right. So there are your new spelling words. You have your new sight words. You have your new story. And then on Thursday, I'm also going to have you read your story to me through Seesaw. Okay. <clears throat> and the last thing we're going to do today is English. So get your English book out. And we're going to do pages 22 and 23. So 22 and 23. All right, so we're going to talk about conjunctions, okay? So conjunctions join things together, okay? And we're going to talk about and and or on page 22. So on page 22, the conjunctions and and or. The conjunction is a word that joins together words in a sentence. The words and or or are conjunctions. So here, I have e I eat apples. I eat bananas. Now, these two sentences can be joined by using one word, and it would be the word and. So you could say, I eat apples and bananas. The word and joins the word apples and the word bananas. Okay, do you see that? I eat apples, I eat bananas. So instead of saying I eat twice, it goes I eat apples and bananas. All right, here's the next one. You can choose a red cup you can choose a purple cup. So there's some words there that are the same. We're gonna take them out of the second sentence. So these two sentences can be joined together into one by adding the word or. And then this is how they join them. You can choose a red or purple cup. You can choose a red or purple cup. So the word or is going to join your colors, red or purple. All right, circle the correct word to complete each sentence. So, you follow along, I'm gonna to read to you. Number one, use a mitt blank, a ball to play catch. So what am I gonna say? Use a mitt and ball to play catch or use a mitt or ball to play catch? I'm gonna say and, right, and. Number two, pitchers blank catchers both work hard. So would I say pitchers and catchers both work hard or pitchers or catchers both work hard? And, because they both work hard, right? Circle and. 
Number three, is your favorite sport baseball, blank, soccer? Would I say, is your favorite sport baseball and soccer? Or would I say, is your favorite sport baseball or soccer? Or, yeah, because it's going to be one or the other. So circle or. Number four, we wear hats, blank, t-shirts. We wear hats and t-shirts. Or should I say, we wear hats or t-shirts? And, because you wear both, right? So we wear hats and t-shirts. Number five, do you like to catch blank pitch better? Do you like to catch and pitch better? Or do you like to catch or pitch better? Or, yeah, because you can't do them both. Can you be the pitcher and the catcher at the same time? No. So do you like to catch or pitch better? All right. Number 23, or sorry, page 23 with the deer on it. Now this is the conjunction but, okay? A conjunction is a word that joins, that joins together words in a sentence. So and, or, but. The word but is a conjunction. She likes rain, but not snow. He likes swimming, but not running. Underline the conjunction but in each sentence. Then complete the sentence using words from the word bank. All right, so let's look here. Here are the words in our word bank. Pets, eat, deer, hurt, warm, hat, tire. All right, so we got to find a spot in these sentences for these words. Let's look at number one. The blank is small but quick. What would be up there that's small but quick? Deer, right? Yeah, the deer is small but quick. So here's deer. Uh, put it right here on this line. D-E-E-R. And then you can cross deer out. Number two. The bike is new but has a flat. What could be flat on your bike? Your tire. Good. And here's tire. So tire needs to go on line two. T-I-R-E. Oh, and you know what? We forgot to underline but. So go back to number one, underline but, and then number two, underline but. So the deer is small but quick. The bike is new but has a flat tire. So get but underlined in both those sentences. Sorry, I skipped that part. Okay. Number three, Paulo got lunch but did not blank it. Paulo got lunch but did not blank it. So where is but? Good, right here. So you should have underlined but. Now, what goes in that sentence? So if he got lunch, but he did not eat it. Good, eat. So, E-A-T. Paulo got lunch, but did not eat it. All right, number four. The summer was wet, but blank. Well, where do you see but? Good, underline but. The summer was wet, but... What? What else could go there with, with temperature and climate and weather? Warm. Good. Warm is right here. So warm's going to go on the line. The summer was wet, but warm. W-A-R-M. Warm. All right. I want you to do numbers five, six, and seven and send me a picture of this page. Okay. All right. So let's recap. You're going to read your story two or three more times. You're going to say your sight words two, two or three times. You're going to send me your spelling three times each. And you're going to send me English, page 23. Okay? All right, Dominic. I'll talk to you later. Bye.